Hi everyone, this is James, this is Eurovision Island, and this is Review in Two, where of course we have two minutes or less to talk about all the songs heading to the Eurovision Song Contest in Rotterdam this year. Before we get to today's song, please take a moment to make sure you are subscribed to our channel so you don't miss out on any future videos, because of course we are going to be covering all the songs that are heading to Rotterdam this year. And also, if you'd like to leave a like or a comment, please feel free to do so. So, without further ado, let's open up to Eurovision 2021. Next up, it's the United Kingdom, James Newman and Embers. Now, I know some of you were hoping to see the alumni of RuPaul's Drag Race representing the UK this year, but note James Newman is back, but I think he's made a very, very wise move. He said earlier in the year that he didn't want to send another ballot to Rotterdam because it's been a difficult year. He wants to send something upbeat, happy, and to make everyone smile, and I think that's a really wise move. Now, Embers, I think it does just that. It's very upbeat, you listen to it, it makes you smile, makes you want to dance along to it. It's got that great trumpet section in the middle, and yeah, it's just an enjoyable track. Now, I think staging is going to be pivotal. I think the UK need to throw everything at this and make it very, very memorable. As I said, that that trumpet section in the middle, I think we need them on stage playing the trumpets, everything, you know, use that as a hook to get people's attention. Go for fireworks, make it a party like we see in the music video, and I think this could potentially do very, very well. Now, I know everyone out there watching this video knows at least one UK Eurovision fan who every year it's the same thing, oh, we're not going to do well, we're not going to win politics, ooh. Just remember, these are the same people that if the UK win in May, we turn around and go, oh, I suppose we've got to pay for this now, ooh. Just ignore them, it really is the easiest thing to do. I think the UK have done something great here. Is it a potential winner? I don't see it as a potential winner, admittedly. But I do see it as something that is going to do better than the UK usually do at Eurovision. I think it will see it on the left hand side of the scoreboard and I think it's definitely a step in the right direction. So that was my review in two, hope you enjoyed it. Just remember these videos are my personal comments and thoughts on songs influenced by my taste in music. If you want to get in touch you can do so by the comments below, I'll be replying personally to all your comments in the coming weeks and months. So make sure you keep checking back to EurovisionIsland.net for all the goings on for Eurovision 2021. That's all for now. Take care, Europe. Thank you and good night.